What up guys and welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna to react to the comedian called Matt Reif. He has been on Wild and Out. I've been a fan of Wild and Out since years ago. But I did not know he was a stand-up comedian until now. I saw a TikTok video yesterday and I was like, yo, this guy is funny. Let me just go and check one of his, you know, sessions out. So we found this one. We're gonna just jump right in and react to it. Let's go. <clears throat> No. Your birthday? It's your birthday? Tomorrow? So. You've been celebrating for four days. The audacity. How, uh, how old are you turning? 49? Congratulations! Okay. Yo, that is why. Just friends, though. You are married. Okay. Oh. <laughs> he was like, it's not date night. <laughs> like, like, he tried to consider this a date night, and she was like, no, this is a birthday night. <laughs> we still have to do date night later this week. That's awesome. Congratulations. How long have you married? 11 years. 11 years, okay. Nice. That's solid. Where did um, y'all meet? You met at a nightclub? At a nightclub? What the fuck? That is so random. Yeah, nightclub in 11 years married? That bro. Day one. I'm They're staying right. strong. He's off the jump. Balls are confident. Do what he wanted. That's fucking awesome. Nightclub 11 years ago. I, I applaud them. I'm so, I, can't, I can't wait to be married already. I'm so fucking sick of dating in LA. It's the worst. It's so cliche. Like everybody says it about their city. Everybody be like, oh, my city's the worst. I, I promise you, LA is the worst for dating. It's so fucking bad out here. All dating in LA has done for me is make me very aware of the shit I for sure don't want. Like, at all. It's just red flags walking around all over. <laughs> That's a problem. That's a problem. Like, I expect to get let down at this point. Every first date I go on, as soon as I sit down, I'm like, all right, bitch, what is it? Ask me what my sign is. I dare you. Let's get this check so fucking fast. Oh, you're a Pisces? Awesome. Yeah, charge it to her crystals. They were in the moon all night last night, so we got some juice. Yo. God, I'm so sick of it, man. <laughs> Doing that like come with so many red flags. Now I have to look out for shit I never thought I'd, ha I'd have to consider when going on a date with somebody. Like, one of my biggest red flags now is I can't date anybody with any prominent facial features. What? Yeah, that was going to be a problem. And it is. I can't date anybody like that. I'm actually not the shallow one in this circumstance. It's, it's my friends. Because all of my friends are black, and they will roast you within an inch of your life if you have anything about your face that stands out at all. They have cost me so many potential relationships. I was seeing this girl last summer. This girl, was, she was perfect, dude. She was, she was beautiful, she was smart, funny. She What's the problem, She just moved to L.A. from Texas a couple months before I met her. Sweet, innocent girl. We went on like six dates. Everything was cool. To like date number three. Where before her, before her and I went to dinner, I was hanging out with a bunch of my friends who I hadn't seen in a while. So we're hanging out. We're like, they're grilling me about you know, what's going on, what's new. You seeing anybody? And I, I, was, I was. I was like so proud to be seeing this new girl. So and I broke out her Instagram. I was like, this is her. You know? <laughs> and my friends immediately were like. What? Which is black for, I'm about to hurt your feelings. Ah. <laughs> they roasted this poor girl for like 90 minutes. Then I laughed, Damn. and I fucked those dudes, and I got stopped hanging out with them. And I didn't, we kept hanging out, we kept going on a couple more dates, and everything was cool. Until date number six. What happened? She just laid it out there. She was like, you know what, Matt? I'm having a really nice time with you. And I think it's time. We take this relationship to the next level. Okay. And we start incorporating our friends into our hangouts. I want to meet your friends. You need to be my friends. We'll all hang out together. See if our friend groups get along. You know? Bro, no, 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 no. I already know where the fuck this is going, bro. Oh no way. 
This is gonna end up bad. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Why you wanna rush things? You know, that was such a good time getting to know you, like one on one, you know? And she was like, no, it's, it's important that our friends get along. I said, like, no, I hear you, I just don't. But that doesn't make sense. Why would the uh, why would you even want to introduce your friends to your partner, like to the person that you're dating? Why the fuck? That makes no sense. That the the only thing that pops into my head is like she's trying to basically see some more options. You know what I mean? That's the only thing I'm thinking about. You know what I mean? Why would you want to know your bro? What? That, that confuses me. That confuses me. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> she was like, why not? I was like, because... Because we have the same chin. <laughs> she was like, what? I was like, you have like a cleft chin like how I have. It, it, it's very strong. It's a very masculine facial feature. Like, I, I think it's cute, obviously. <laughs> but not everybody does. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, what are you trying to say? And I was like, my friends are going to roast you. They're going to make fun of the way you look. And Damn, like, he's so fucking honest, bro. I would try to fucking divert that conversation. Bro, he fucking went in and said it. Child, oh. what are they going to say? That I have like a butt chin? Ooh, so original. Like, I've heard it all before, babe. And I was like... No, you <laughs> haven't. I don't know how many black friends you have, but this is what they do, okay? Yeah. Do you know that they call you the Texas Chinsaw Massacre? Did you know that? No, <laughs> no way. <laughs> Yo, that's so creative, bro. That is so creative. <laughs> that was just the first one. She was so offended. She was like, oh. It's so rude. Is that all they know about me? Is what I look like? I was like, no. They know you just moved here from Texas <laughs> to be a chin influencer. They said. Yo, yo, they know how to roast, bro. That is crazy. They know how to roast. <laughs> <laughs> That was good, that was good, that was good, bro. That was funny. Matt Rife, I, I might have to check more of his stuff out, you know what I mean? This guy was funny, That this guy was funny. This is probably not one of his best sets, but there's probably plenty of more. Wait, how the fuck do you say that? How the fuck do Americans say this shit? There's plenty of more where that came from, right? That's how you gotta say it, right? If there's any American watching this shit, you better comment if I said that right. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction video. And if you did, you know what to do. It's all up to you. You got the, you know, you got the controls. You got the controllers. You got the, you know, you got the mouse. You got the mouse. Drag it over there. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on future videos. And comment down below what you think about Matt Rife. Is he funny or is he fucking not funny? Comment down below. I want to know. With that being said, I hope you guys have a nice day. And I will see you guys in the next video. Deuces.